In this video, we will be demonstrating the proper installation of the super screw splice from belt preparation to skiving the belt and the physical installation. Start by squaring the belt the way you normally would. It is recommended to install the super screw on a bias and drop down on either side one inch per 12 inches of belt width. Our belt is 18 inches wide, so we'll round up to use 2 inches as our bias. We'll mark the bias on the belt. On the other side of the belt, we will do the reverse so the ends will mate or match. Cut along this line to set your bias. With the bias set, we'll now mark the belt in preparation to skive the top cover for the super screw installation. Because installation requires you to install the splice with the spacers in to ensure proper alignment of the top and bottom cover, we will measure from the spacer out to the edge of the splice to get our first measurement of 1 and 7 eighths inches. Note, the diameter of the spacer and the width of the identifier line on the splice are about one half inch. This allows you to measure your sky width from the top cover as shown in this picture. Mark your belt with a straight edge. Measure the trailing edge of the splice, this time including the width of the identification line on the top cover. This gives us a measurement of two and one half inches. Note, these two measurements equal the overall width of the super screw, 4 and 3 eighths. This gives us a 60-40 split of the splice. The 60% can be on either the trailing edge or the leading edge of the belt, as it has no impact in the operation of the conveyor. Again, mark your belt using a straight edge. You are now ready to skive the belt. To skive our belt, we are using the PS15 standard belt skiver with a 7 8 inch cutting blade. First, we want to set the depth of the cutting blade. Here, we are using the belt to set this depth to the thickness of the top cover, ensuring the cut will leave a skim of rubber protecting the ply. Once the depth is set, lightly tighten the black Allen head bolt, fixing the blade at your desired depth. There are five settings on the skiver from zero to four. Zero being off and four being your highest temperature. Our first cuts will be at level four, the hottest setting allowing for the easiest pass through the rubber. The skiver is pressure activated for safety, so the blade will only heat when pushing forward. This allows you to stop mid-cut if required. Note that when on level 4, the blade should be fully encompassed in the rubber. If on level 4 and the blade is exposed to the air, you will see the blade overheat. This reduces the life of the blade and can burn the rubber cover of the belt. I have left two areas less than the width of the 7 8 inch blade, so to clean this up, I'll drop the setting back to level 2. This level allows me to cut the remaining top cover without overheating the blade. Repeat this process on the other end of the belt. This will set the super screw down level with the top cover to minimize the exposure of the splice to the conveyor belt cleaning system, i.e. scrapers or wipers. The splice we will be installing today is the 63-8-18 AR or abrasion resistant. The splice will arrive complete with the top and bottom cover attached with an 8mm spacer as noted in the part number. It will also come with the required number of screws, 
in a PZ bit to fit the screws and a set of instructions. The 8mm spacer allows the splice to slide onto the now skived final thickness of the belt, which on our belt is 5 16 Position the super screw so that the belt is firmly positioned against the spacers in the super screw. Using a heavy duty 18 volt or greater drill, install one screw in the center of the splice in the row closest to the spacers. Then install a screw in both edges of the splice. then between the center screw and the edge screw. Keep centering between the last screw installed, skipping from one side of the splice to the other. This process ensures the holes stay aligned during installation. Complete the row in this fashion. Tighten the screws until the splice cover slightly puckers. This will indicate that the nut on the back side of the splice has been seated in the carcass of the belt. Check the bottom of the splice making sure the nuts are pulled into the carcass of the belt. Completely install the second row of screws exactly like the first row. Installing the center screw first, the edge screws second, and then the centers until the row is completed. Remove the spacers from the center of the splice. Discard the spacers and save the screws. Butt both ends of the belt together for a tight fit. Then follow the screwing sequence for this side. Again, finishing the first row before moving on to the next row. Leave the center row of screws to be installed last. With our super screw installed, you can now see the bias, which will allow the splice to gradually pass through the cleaning system. For literature on super screw, and our other products, visit us at www.tcarsonco.com.